SMP fund sub-Saharan Africa. Unbelievable. Is this the only thing they can do? They can't make any decent speeches. They can't come up with any decent policies. So he goes abroad, talks at a speech in New York, probably bored everybody to death, and then announces, in his own words, that Scotland will become the first high-income donor to donate money to tackle heart attacks, strokes, and cancers in sub-Saharan Africa, or the Global South. Funny how they don't look for problems closer to home. Neil Oliver pointed out not long ago that some areas in sub-Saharan Africa actually have a higher life expectancy than that of Glasgow, which just shows how bad things really are inside that city. Yet what happens to the people of Glasgow? The council budget, despite it being run by the SNP, was stripped bare. And when you look at the Scottish NHS waiting list, it's truly terrible. 820,000 people are on waiting lists. 520,000 of those are waiting for outpatient appointments. 149,000 of them are waiting for inpatient appointments. And 152,000 people inside Scotland are waiting for key diagnostics tests for cancer. But that doesn't matter because they're going to throw all that taxpayer money abroad and then they're going to blame Westminster for not giving them enough money in the first place to fund the NHS in Scotland.